There's one feature in Cubase and Nuendo that's underrated or a lot of people don't know that it exists. I talk about the direct offline processing. Trick number one, direct offline processing is better than automation. We've got this track. And now I want to add a telephone effect, but just from bar 258 for two bars. So I insert the frequency, we reduce the low frequencies, the high frequencies and boost the mids. And now I want to automate it. We can see and hear I didn't match the bar. We can quantize it. but it takes a lot of time and the second part doesn't sound really nice. So there is another part. So I deactivate the automation and after two bars, I cut and after two bars again. So now I've got this clip and I want to add the telephone effect just to this clip. Now I go to audio direct offline processing and one way is to go to the plugins and go to the frequency and now you've got to reproduce your settings or you go to the frequency of the insert and save this one as a preset but it's getting better because now I just can drag and drop this frequency to the direct offline processing and now you can see at the first clip there is no effect at the second clip, we've got this effect and following no effect. Now we've got the effect twice because we've got it at this clip and still at the channel. So after drag and drop it into the clip, you've got to remove it. And here comes trick number two. Let's listen to the transition. It's a little bit clicky or hard. So I want to create a crossfade. Normally it's not possible because we started the editing in the clip at bar 258. But because we extended the edit range here, in my example, 1000 milliseconds, it's possible. So now I just go to this click, press X, and now we've got the crossfade. Much smoother. And now we can see that we extended the range. So now I can extend the length of the clip and you can see that the clip the direct offering processing doesn't start here, it starts here. And we can see and listen to it. So it's great for creating crossfades. I always prefer to have turn this on my minimum is 1000 milliseconds, depends on you. Trick number three is auto apply. Perhaps it's turned off. And now I want to add some of the low frequencies. Here I can loop the preview. Great. So, and now I want to play this clip here. And you see, we just hear the old seconds. Now I've got to say apply. Now it worked. Now I activate auto play. And every time I change something in here, it's applied automatically. So now you can say, well, I always want to have turned on auto apply. Why should I turn it off? Perhaps sometimes you've got some plugins here for long clips and now they take a lot of time for calculating and then you want to turn it off. 
And the second reason is Isotope RX. Now you can send all your stuff to Isotope RX with Isotope RX9 Connect. And now it's been sent to RX. But when you want to send it back, now Noendo doesn't receive anything. I got to say deactivate autoplay and now I can go to apply and then it receive the edited signal. But most of the time I've got turned on auto apply. Trick number four, pin process. Now we've got this telephone effect and we like it very much and we want to pin it to another clip. So we go here to the strings. And here we are at the choir. Let's say pin process. Now you can see auto play is deactivated. I go to the strings and say apply. And that's it. Trick number five, advanced drag and drop. We've got this pad. And now I want to add some saturation and the auto pan. Normally you can drag and drop the first plugin and then the second plugin. But now we go to the mixer and now we can drag and drop from the inserts. Just go to insert, press the mouse key and drag and drop it to the direct offering processing. And again, remove the effects from here. And that's it. Now I go to the direct off from processing. I go to the telephone effect. And here at the bottom, you see you've got four banks and each bank has nine favorites. So here I'm at bank two. And now I move the frequency to the bottom. I right click. I want to name it telephone. Now I go to this part and you see here we've got more than one effect. So I choose all of them. And now I say it's set pan for saturation panning. And now you can see here we've just have one effect and here you've got multiple effects. And now we can go to uh, this part and want to have the telephone effect here. Or we go to another audio part, for example, this one, just click to saturation pan. We've got activated autoplay and that's it. Trick number seven, use key commands. Here I opened my key commands. Yes, I'm at Nuendo 12, not 13. And now I'm at the direct offering processing. Favorite one is command one. Let's sign it. And favorite number two is command two. When I go to the direct from processing, I can now press command one. That's it. And you don't have to open this window. So now I want to add the second favorite. So saturation and pen. Let's close this one. Command two. So you can add effects very, very fast. And it's perfect for all your post-production because now I can add effects like connect, deplosive, de-click, mouth de click de-essing, and much more with one click. Trick number eight, edit multiple clips once. So we've got the snare here. And we want to reduce the low frequencies. So choose the frequency. And then we choose the low cut. I don't just select this one clip, I can select multiple clips, drag and drop it, and that's it. Trick number nine is the tail. Now I want to add a little bit reverb to this kick. So we choose revelation. And now I use the direct offering processing and drag and drop it to here. And now we listen to the result. So can you hear? The reverb is cut off. And we can use a fade out, but that's not what we want. So now we say we want to add a tail. So 
we switch from extend the edit range to the tail. But now it's not applied. Now comes the trick. Remove it back to here. Go back. And now you can see I've extended this one. Trick number 10 is the global direct offering processing. Here we've got this little part with vocals. When tears begin to fall. And now you can see this is a yellow van, orange and yellow. And this is yellow because this clip is 004. This is number 15 and this again number 4. So these two clips are from the same audio file. And imagine you've got a big project and you've got a lot of clips and all these clips are from the same audio file. And now you want to add, let's say, the telephone effect. And you've got to look at your project and where are your, all your clips. So it's very easy. Now I go to the pool and here is my clip. I've chosen it. Direct iPhone processing. I choose telephone and that's it. Trick number 11, you can switch effects. When tears begin to fall. Okay, what I really like here, I can bypass the effects. When tears begin to fall. Or turn them on, just the echo boy. When tears begin to fall. Or just the auto pen. When tears begin to fall. Now let's do both. When tears begin to fall. And now, at first, we go to the Echo Boy, and after the Echo Boy, we've got the auto panning. And now we can switch the order. When tears begin to fall. So the difference is we've got the auto panning, and then we go to the Echo Boy. That means that the echoes always stay at the same panning. So the panning, the auto panner. When tears begin to fall. Or I can switch back. When tears begin to fall. Trick mod 12, you can save a lot of CPU. Here is a little click in the vocals. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So now I go to the declicker by Isotope. I'm gonna let you. But now when I press play, it takes a little bit of time before it really plays. I'm gonna let Let's imagine you've got multiple instances in a lot of track. You use a lot of inserts. And now let's press play again. I'm gonna let you know. You see, it takes a lot of time and when you press stop, it takes a lot of time before it really stops. So what I do now, I just go to this little part here, choose the direct offhand processing, drag and drop into the part. And now I can remove it from here. I'm gonna let and the click is gone and I can play in one click and it plays and now the other great thing is when you export the file you can save a lot of time too because there is no need for calculating all this declicker and all other restoration plugins because they are all baked in into the file and the last trick is just for the end users here we've got these four steps but we need more now i can duplicate this one but it sounds like a loop. So now I go to the second and the third one. And here I go to the plugins and choose the randomizer. This one is just accessible in the direct offering processing and no endo, not in Cubase. We've got these four knobs, pitch, impact, color, and timing.
in Cubase and Nuendo, there is a new little feature. When I go to the direct offering processing and press play, when tears begin to fall, you hear the processed version. But now I press the Alt key. When tears begin to fall. And now you listen to the original. This is perfect to compare between the original and the processed version. And here is a trick that's perfect for you when you send your projects to other people. For example, they mix your song. In the early days, you had some plugins which the other people didn't have. So this could be a problem. And very often the people took the clip and then went to the editings, used render in place, or you took all the clips, or you said you want to consolidate this track and every track. But the problem is when you get this back, you can't go to the direct offering processing because it's all printed in. And the perfect thing is, you see here, I've got all this plugins inserted and you can send this project to another person that uses Cubase. And this person doesn't have all the plugins and this doesn't matter because it's just using this WAV file. When the person is opening this direct offering processing window, they will be shown that some plugins are missing, but it doesn't matter. It will matter when this person presses the bypass button. Okay, then this effect is bypassed, but this person can't just turn on the effect again. So don't press the bypass button when you don't have the plugin. And when this person is mixing the song and sends it back to you, you still have all these plugins with all the settings. Next trick, perhaps you want to have a clean file with all these plugins printed in. And some people say, okay, let's go to this part and export as new file. But this is not great because then this file is just as long as this clip. And perhaps you've got a longer clip. So what can you do? You just go to audio and say you want to make it permanent. And that's it. And now you go to the direct offering processing and it's clear. And you can save a lot of time. You can save a lot of CPU. You don't need the automation. So these are the 13 tips. What kind of things do you like? And at the left top, you can see a video, seven tricks for exports in Cubase and Noendo. When you like this video, give me a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you on the next time. Bye.